goes. All right. Oh, that's uh, that's Tom. That's our turkey. That uh, he's he's a pet. He's someone's pet, so he's uh, he's safe this year. Um, <laughs> Uh, thank you, by the way, and uh, back at you, and um, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving to you. It is, um, it's, uh, it's a lovely holiday. It's, it's tomorrow, and it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful day. It's, uh, it's, meant, it's a day to be grateful. Um, it, it really, in my opinion, should be every single day we should be grateful, but, but it's nice that we have one day a year that we're supposed to focus on that, and, and we give thanks for everything that we have, and uh, some people really look forward to this uh, Thanksgiving. Some people dread it, not because they have to give thanks, but, but uh, it's just stressful. You know, where do you go, and who cooks? And Because uh, when you're a kid, you don't have to think about that stuff. You just wake up in the morning, and somebody's cooking for you, and you walk around and put olives on all your fingers. And... <laughs> drink Kool-Aid out of wine glasses and, you know. Then you get older and, and you spend Thanksgiving with your friends, especially when you're first out of the house. You're all excited that you're going to spend Thanksgiving with your friends. And you always have these friends that have their first Thanksgiving at their first apartment, and so you're all happy about it until you get there and they have no idea what to do. <laughs> you're never so appreciative of your family when you ha at that first apartment Thanksgiving. There's no table. <laughs> No silverware. People are just piecing together things. You're sitting on a cooler with a, eating a turkey with a ladle. You're just <laughs> holding the plate in your lap, getting up every time someone needs a fresco or an orange crush. <laughs> then you learn. Yeah. Then you learn, then you go right back to your mom's or your grandmother's or your aunt's house. And they always, that's when it's fancy. They, uh, they, they know. It's years of practice of it's a fancy day and they bring out the new hand towels in the bathroom that you're not supposed to use, by the way. <laughs> they're just for that day. And they're, they're basically, they're, they're so stiff, they're like 26 washings away from being absorbent. You, you know? It's mainly just embroidery on it. You just... And then when you go back home, no matter how old you, you are, you still end up sitting at the kids' table with, with the nieces and nephews, and it just doesn't feel good anymore at a certain age to be sitting there. The conversation isn't that stimulating. You're just, yeah, pee-pee-poo-poo, uh-huh. <laughs> I, I don't have a favorite Power Ranger. I have a PhD. <laughs> You're the stupid head. Mom! And then sometimes you, you, you get brave, you bring a friend to dinner to your family's house so that, that you have a witness to the craziness. <laughs> you have a weird cousin. There's always the weird, everybody has the weird cousin who's in the corner sticking his fingers in the dip. <laughs> now, you see what I'm talking about now? All of a sudden your grandmother blurts out, she's just eating. Well, it looks like you've finally grown into your breasts. <laughs> Now do you see why I drink? Do you see? <laughs> all I'm saying is it, it's a lot of work. You know, there's all this pressure for this one day, you know, and, and then it's over. So, you know, we should just accept it. The day is going to be what it's going to be. And it's about giving thanks and it's about creating memories. And even if they're bad, they're memories. And uh, isn't that what life is? It's, it's memories? Because without memories... Because without memories, how can your therapist help you? <laughs> That's why I say keep a journal. <laughs> There's Tony right there.
Ed Mittler. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the set, Tony. I, I know. Isn't this beautiful? It's, um, it's amazing. This is like a, a buffet for for squirrels. It's really. <laughs> It's really beautiful. I've never seen so many gourds. <laughs> There's an awful lot of them, yes. And I, you don't really see gourds uh, any other time of the year other than Thanksgiving or, uh, or Christmas. Christmas and Thanksgiving. Yeah, or, or when? Halloween. Halloween. Oh, true. Um, <laughs> I guess you see them all the time. I don't, I don't really they notice them. In. Gourds are underrated, though, I think. They're, they're coming back, though. They're making a comeback? To daytime we're, we're, we're bringing gourds back to, to daytime. daytime. There you go. <laughs> Um, and, and this is our holiday that we celebrate uh, giving thanks to this day, and you don't in your native land. No, we don't. Christmas is bigger for us, but it's the reverse here. here. Right. It's, yeah. uh, it's pretty big here. Yes. Yeah. But I'm grateful for a lot of things, though. I'm thankful. Good. I, yeah. And I, what are you grateful for, Tony? Well, I'm thankful for being here. I'm thankful for... <laughs> thankful for my health and thankful for dancing with you. That's always good. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And I am thankful for you, and I'm thankful for being here, and I and I am thankful for all of these uh, lovely people and you at home. I am very grateful myself. Yeah.